Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I'm a little bit uh, zhuzhed today, a little bit heavy makeup and rocking these fabulous earrings that I got from Colette Heyman uh, because I wanted to look a bit fancy because I am going to review today my mum's Chanel wallet. The story behind this is that my hubby and I gave it to my mother as a gift actually for planning our entire wedding in exactly three months. A little under three months actually, two and a bit months uh, we planned our wedding in and she did the entire thing amazingly. She has event management uh, background. She used to own an event planning management company for like 15 odd years and she's amazing at it. So anyway, we wanted to thank her for putting on such an amazing, amazing uh, time for us and wedding by giving her something special. And I did know that she needed a new wallet. So when I saw this baby, I snapped it up. So it did come in a lovely bag actually with the camellia and all of that. Uh, the only downside to this review is going to be that once I gave it to my mom as a gift, she, I then, you know, went off on our honeymoon and, and whatnot. I didn't really control what she did with it all, the packaging and stuff. And being not a collector of luxury brands she kind of tossed it all out so i don't have all of that to show you unfortunately but she did keep the box but unfortunately she didn't keep the authenticity card <laughs> don't ask me why trust me i i don't even want to talk about it we have already been through this together i'm like what the heck but anyway she does have the box so here it is the beautiful chanel box that the wallet came in it has chanel written across the front and opens up like so she did end up keeping a, a few of the things inside so the ribbon that went around the box the little uh information card that's inside of that so she did keep those i'm not quite sure if the actual wallet came in a drawstring dust pouch but she does she does have a little bit of felt around it which i'll show you so here is a little care booklet that does come inside of it with all of the sort of instructions care instructions like that and there is the chanel ribbon that was wrapped around the actual box Inside the box, as I said, I don't know if it came with a dust sort of bag or something, but <laughs> there is this felt uh, piece that goes around the actual wallet. Uh, so she has kept that, that's good. I didn't get to see what was how it was packaged inside, obviously, because the lady just packaged it all up for me and uh, gave it to me like this. But here is the actual wallet. It is very beautiful, very classic. I do not know the name of the wallet, nor do I know the style code. That's really helpful in this review. I will try and find it out and link it below in the information bar. But anyhow, this is the wallet. It is in the beautiful black caviar leather, which you can see there, which is the sort of more firmer leather. I knew my mum would throw this around it down inside her bag, so I wanted to go for the caviar rather than the lambskin even though the lambskin is pretty tough as well and the back of it has nothing on it the front has the interlocking cc logo there which is just sort of like a tepid, uh, tepid sort of metal there with the engravings and sort of crisscross engravings in it the layout of the wallet is that it is a bifold wallet so it opens like so and there is no clip to shut it it is just like almost sort of like an organizer it just fl just opens like so uh which you know didn't really bother my mom she didn't really want need to lock it up like that she didn't mind at all she did use it for the year straight after our wedding almost and only really changed it out to her Oriton wallet I think the other week that's why I ended up having it back here um, because she knew I would want to review it the layout of it is that it has eight credit card slots running down the side here and uh, they are able to double up. As you can see, my mums are a bit, even after a year, a little bit 
uh, bigger. That's because she doesn't just put one card in there or two cards. She puts like three. When I saw it, I was like, what are you doing? You're going to stretch it out. But to be honest, they're not stretched out too far, which is quite good. Underneath that, we have one other compartment underneath there, which I guess you could put additional cards inside there if you needed to. And underneath that, another compartment as well. So on that side, you have the slots, a compartment, and another compartment. On this side, you have the Chanel stamp. So here is the Chanel stamp with the CCs inside the circle there. And down under this back compartment, you have the made in stamp. So there it is stamped made in Italy, uh, right under the bottom compartment. Moving over to the other side of the wallet, we have a front compartment there. There are no card slots on the front of this sort of, say like a Sarah wallet or the uh, insulate wallet. It's just plain there. You have one compartment in the front, down inside. Then you have another compartment behind that. And then you have the zipper coin compartment with its leather pull there. So opening that up, there is your coin compartment. And if you did want to put coins inside, it's a fabric lining rather than a leather lining that necessarily would get stained by coin dirt. It's a uh, fabric, so I think it takes a little bit better to wear and tear down there. And then behind you have the rather big compartment, which I guess you'd store cash or receipts or maybe additional cards as well. So even though my mom, my mom did discard of the authenticity card, way to go mom, there, there is the hologram sticker. So in this wallet, as in every Chanel wallet, there should be the hologram sticker. Uh, that coincides with the authenticity cards number on it. This wallet has it down in the front pocket here, the first pocket, it's just stamped there. To see that, there we go, the hologram sticker with the two CC logos inside circles and the whole entire hologram number which coincides with the authenticity card. So this is my mum's Chanel wallet that we got her. It really loaded up. It really does hold a ton. It, uh, it actually, you know, can compete with the insulate wallet, which I know holds an absolute massive amount, including a phone. And you know, you can get a whole bunch of stuff in there. So totally recommend any Chanel wallets as a gift. This little baby came in at the time at about 560, I think it was. So it's at the bottom of the end range for Chanel wallets. And we sort of knew we wanted to spend around that sort of money uh, on a gift for her at the time. And yeah, so it, you know, it was uh, a really good buy and a good find for exactly what she needed in a black wallet. So just seeing the size of it, I got it here again. It, it's quite a big wallet, but this is my Eva clutch. I know I get asked to do size comparisons with this a lot. So there you are, that's it down inside the Eva. It is taking up most of the clutch as it does. But if I wanted to slide my phone down in the back there and add my keys, that would be perfect for a night out for the size of this wallet. And in comparison to my Emily wallet, which I'm back using, of course, I'll have to compare it because I'm favouring this wallet ridiculously at the moment. To compare it in size, it's pretty close, a little bit shorter, probably uh, maybe 5mm, maybe close to a centimetre off the length of this wallet, but the height of the wallet is definitely taller in the Chanel. But again, very comparable, so that's to a Sarah an Emily, uh, all of the long wallets in Vuitton, this wallet does compare to that sort of full wallet size. But yes, I think that's about it uh, for comparisons. I definitely, definitely recommend Chanel wallets. Obviously, I recommend Chanel completely. Uh, they are higher end than uh, something like a Vuitton wallet. They are right uh, way more up there they're up there with the exclusive wallets from Vuitton so that concludes my review on my mum's Chanel wallet thumbs up if you like this video guys I'm so glad to be back doing my videos I hope you enjoyed my morning routine video that it's 
a totally different style for me but I really loved making it thank you so much for your kind comments on it by seeing that it was a different style video for me to do I really enjoyed it and I am off to Europe um, a very shortly this weekend so I will be away for six weeks guys I'm sorry that I won't be obviously uploading videos uh, once I'm gone I'm going to try and get a few more in before I leave uh, but yes I will hopefully be on Instagram and be showing you where I'm going and show you all around but yes I would try to fit a few more videos in before I leave thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video guys I hope everybody is doing really really well take care guys Peace.